Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2016 Kia Sportage SI. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we have close to 200 vehicles in stock and go through about 160 on any given month. Now it is making us one of the largest pre-owned vehicle departments here in Queensland. As you can see though at our main yard here just near DFO we've got quite a variety of vehicles. Got parts and services just across the road there, which is attached out the back of the brand new part of Toyota and Lexus. And as you make your way towards the city, uh, you will come across our second pre-owned vehicle yard, uh, just down on the edge of Cairns there. Now throughout the video though, I'll be making my way over the Sportage here in complete detail, pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale. So what I'll do is start down around the front, make our way around the exterior. So I'll check out the nice big alloy wheels making sure there's no scratching or gutter ash. Check out the tire tread, plenty of depth in there. Now obviously part of that roadworthy certificate, which is attached to each and every vehicle in that driveway price here in Queensland. Around the paint and panel though, making sure that there's no major dings, dents, scratches. Around the front end, we expect to see a stone chip or two. So I'd like to be completely transparent in these videos. And if there's a little imperfection, Obviously point them out. Now these type of things, they can be brush touched by our paint perfectionist before delivery. But as we make our way across, we can see it is uh, very clean and tidy. Very sort of mark free, no dings or dents. Nice clean straight front end. We'll make our way down the uh, passenger side for you, just try and give you a really good angle of the body. On the passenger front, nice clean alloy again, plenty of tyre depth. Beautiful, good to see that consistency. We'll keep on checking each wheel as we go. Obviously on the side mirrors, you've got your indicators on there, a little bit of extra safety. And as we can see, we've obviously got the chrome trimming around the doors there as well. But as we make our way down, no major dings, dents or scratches to be pointed out. Very clean, very straight down the passenger side there, the reverse angle. On the passenger rear, again mark free which is excellent to see. And that ex excellent amount of tire tread again. Beautiful, so around the back end here, Make sure she's nice and straight, no dings or dents. No markings or damages, which is great to see. You do have your proximity sensors out the rear here. You've also got your built-in reversing camera that we'll see in action shortly as well. Uh, well, we're back here, we'll have a look in the boot. So a couple little markings, your yeah, luggage markings along the back here. Doesn't seem like too much has split the paint, which is always good to see. Uh, through the boot itself though. A couple of light bits of wear and tear, which is to be expected on a pre-owned vehicle. But overall, very tidy. No major cuts or split through the plastic or the upholstery there. Underneath, we've got our jack and tools and our spare wheel, full-size spare as well, which is great to see. We'll make our way down the driver's side now. Again, give you a really good angle, but we'll keep covering each panel as we go. Fourth and final wheel. So good to see that consistency all the way around the vehicle uh, when it comes to markings on the wheels or the tire tread. All in excellent condition. Now, one of the most common spots you'll find markings is on the inside of the driver's door here. Obviously the most frequently used door uh, cops a few more knocks than most. Again, they can be brush touched by our paint perfectionists, but we do like to be transparent in these videos. And as we make our way back down, just giving you that reverse angle, nice straight body. Beautiful. On the windscreen, make sure there's no major chips or cracks. Uh, part of that roadworthy certificate that's attached. And on the roof, no major dings, dents, hail damage. Nice and straight and tidy. Beautiful. We'll now make our way through the interior. 
Just checking the door cards for wear and tear around the handles. Uh, no scratching around the armrest here or scuff marks along the bottom, which is great to see. The upholstery appears to be in excellent condition, making sure there is no cuts, tears, burns or stains. No sagging either in the seats, which is great to see. And same goes for the carpet. Very clean. Now you've got USB and 12 volt ports down there and rear air vents as well. We'll hop in the driver's seat for you. So driver's door obviously cops a bit more wear and tear. So we'll just double check this one. All your controls here for your side mirrors, central locking and electric windows. Very light markings there. And I don't feel to have split the plastic too much. We'll jump in. Both keys will start it up for you. Turns over nicely. Got a couple speakers in the doors there as well. But on the right hand side, all your controls here for the cruise control and for that little heads up display screen there. So as you can see, you also got a digital speedometer, uh, all your fuel consumptions, your trip meters, all those type of things. Go across for your servicing and set it up how you please, really. But as we can see, it's done 54,786 kilometers. And we'll check uh, the service history for that one shortly. Left-hand side, though, all your controls for the head unit. Uh, Hands-free Bluetooth once that's all connected as well. Uh, as you can see, you've got a nice large touchscreen display up here. Um, but at the end of the day, you've also got the buttons just below. Um, but that's where that nice big reverse camera also shows up, giving you great vision out the back. Beautiful. As we make our way down, all the controls for it and the air conditioning there in one. And down below there, we have more 12 volts USB and AUX connections. And as we can see, it is an automatic. Uh, obviously, with our drive modes, our proximity sensors, we can turn on and off as we please. Up the front, though, just as clean and tidy as the rest of the vehicle. No real markings or damages, no fading or cracking or not starting to go sticky across the dash, which is always great to see. In here we've got all of our books. Uh, the main one is the service that people want to know about, so we'll have a bit of a flick through for you. Make our way back to the beginning. So, beautiful. So this one here was done at 16,000, 28 and a half thousand. So it's every 15,000 or 12 months with Kia. Uh, done again there at 45, done again at 54, so a couple kilometres early that one. Um, but that's just making sure it's recently been done, so the next one's not due to at least 64,000 Ks. So. A bit of time before your next service. Last but not least though, we'll have a look underneath the bonnet while she's still running. Beautiful, underneath here. Make sure she's nice and clean and tidy. Make sure there's no red dust or rust or anything. As we listen to it run, there's no major knocks, rattles or squeals. Obviously with the service being maintained. But that was our virtual tour though of our 2016 Kia Sportage. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.